In this demonstration, we will incorporate images into various aspects of visualizations. For this example, two sources of images have been configured, a binary column within the data table which contains country flags, and a website directory which stores the national emblem for each country as a PNG file titled with the country name. On the next page, you can see that in a table visualization, the binary column named flag displays three dots inside square brackets for values. This is because the images must be drawn using a renderer. In order to indicate that the binary flag column requires a renderer, we will go to the Properties dialog and to the Columns section. Select the Flag column and change the renderer from text to image. You can immediately see the impact on the data table. The binary column is now rendered as an image. An alternative approach to displaying images is to use a text value within a column as a part of a website URL. In this data table, we have a column with the name of each country. Recall that we have configured a website where a PNG file titled with the country name represents an image of the national emblem. If we select the country column and change the renderer from text to image from URL, you will notice that the values in the table change to the three dots inside square brackets. We can fix this by clicking on the settings button and you will see a dollar sign inside squiggly brackets displayed in this field. This symbol serves as a placeholder for the value passed from the indicated column, in this example, the country name. Therefore, we can type the website directory URL in front of the placeholder and type .png after the placeholder. When we click OK, you can see the image for each national emblem appear in the table visualization. The size of the images in the table visualization are controlled by the row height and column width. If we go to the Appearance section and increase the height of the data rows, you can see that providing more space allows for a larger image. If the column width becomes the size limiting factor, we can simply drag the column border to widen. If we close the Properties dialog, you will note that while the country column now displays an image in the table visualization, the column in the underlying data table still retains the text values seen here in the Filters panel. Note also that the binary data column, flag, cannot be represented as a filter. In addition to table visualizations, if we mark a row of data and view the Details on Demand panel, then right-click to access the Properties dialog, the same column section will appear, and we could adjust the binary flag column to use an image renderer. We could also configure the country column to pass values to a URL and render the resulting images, but we will leave this displayed as text and click Close. In addition to table visualizations and the Details on Demand panel, you may also represent images on axes. Here we have a bar chart which displays the total spent on projects in each country. We can change the category axis to flag, and you will see that, although the bars are sorted differently, the same values are displayed. Unfortunately, though, each label reads only binary. In order to remedy this rendering issue, we can go to the Properties dialog for this visualization, to the Category Axis section, and click on the Label Rendering button. For this flag column, we will select Show as Image. Note that the size of the image is controlled by two factors the position of this slider, and the available space for these image labels. If we make the max size smaller, you can see a direct impact on the visualization. And if we slide to the right, you can see a point is reached where the image cannot get larger because of the limitations of the horizontal label space. If we click OK and close the Properties dialog, the current size position will allow larger images if we make more horizontal space by, say, closing the Filters and Details on Demand panel. Note that you may use images in combination with other string column values along an axis. For example, let's add continent as a value along the category axis. And then drag and drop it to the left of the flag column, creating a geographic hierarchy which helps to organize our bars. On the next page, we have the same visualization starting point, but this time our goal is to use the website directory of image files to display the national emblem along the category axis of this bar chart. With the country column values already selected as one of the properties defining the category axis, we can go to the Properties dialog, Category Axis section, 
and click the Label Rendering button. We will select the Country column and show as an image from URL. Note that the value cannot yet be rendered because we must adjust the URL to point to our directory of images by clicking upon the Settings button. Again, we will enter the leading URL string before the placeholder and the .png following the placeholder, such that the URL will reference each image file titled with the country name. Then we can click OK, click OK, and close the Properties dialog. In addition to displaying the images on axes of these two visualizations, the inclusion of those images as a property on the visualization automatically causes the image to become an information item for display in the default configuration of the tooltip boxes presented upon MouseOver. Even if the image is not displayed on an axis, you may configure an image to display in a tooltip information box. Note that currently, this scatter plot is configured to display continent, budget, and spent values upon mouseover. If we go to the Properties dialog, Tooltip section, we can add the binary column flag as a tooltip value, type the name country flag, and show as an image. When we click OK and click to activate the underlying scatter plot, the country flag is now displayed as a part of the tooltip information box upon mouseover. If we wanted to display the national emblem as well, we could click the Add button, select Country, type the name National Emblem, and show as an image from URL. Again, we would have to adjust the settings to display the appropriate URL path to our website directory of image files. Once entered, we can click OK, click OK, and close the Properties dialog. Now when we mouse over any marker in the scatter plot, both images are presented in the tooltip information box. In addition to images on axes and in the tooltip box, images can be configured to appear as labels. Using an identical scatterplot visualization, we can go to the Properties dialog, Labels section, and Label by the Flag column, and show as an image. Note that the default setting is for labels to be shown only for the marked rows. So when we click Close and drag a rectangle to mark data, the flags label appear. Clicking where there is nothing will unmark the data and hide the flags. On the next page, we can adjust the properties of an identical scatterplot visualization in the Labels section and Label by the Country column. Because our scatterplot has only 20 markers, we will show the labels for all markers and change the label from the text field containing the country name to an image from URL. Then click the Settings button in order to configure that URL to reference each of the appropriate image files for the national emblem associated with the marker. Instead of placing the image to the side of each marker, we could center the images on top of the marker and decrease the image size to resemble the size of a marker on the plot. When we close the Properties dialog, you can see the impact on the visualization, where images have been positioned to represent spent and budget amounts in a two-dimensional log-log scatter plot. If we return to the first page of this analysis document, and review the possible sources of images for use in labels, tooltips, or visualization axes. In addition to the inclusion of binary data columns within your data table and a web directory which can reference specific images by passing text values from your data table to serve as a part of the URL, it is possible to include images in table visualizations which are sourced via a virtual column. A virtual column is not a part of the original data table, but connects to a remote data source and collects data from there. This can be useful if a large quantity of data is stored as images, and the Spotfire analysis file would be too large if the data was included as a binary column within the analysis document. Virtual columns are not available by default and need to be registered programmatically. So contact your Spotfire administrator if you think that this type of configuration to display images in table visualizations may be useful for your organization's analytical needs.